My name is Marty Lena. And my name is Alizé. Welcome to this week's Fort Logan Northgate News. So as we all know, a couple of weeks ago, war of lockdown involving bank robbery and carjacking. Many of the students and faculty have been waiting to know more about what happened that day. So let's take it to our reporter, Jamie, who will be interviewing some of the students and faculty about their experience involving that terrible, terrible day. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I'm, today I'm going to interview Ms. Mangrum, asking her about how it felt um, when we had the lockdown. So tell me, how did it feel like when you saw like the kids like freaking out when, when the SWAT team came in? Well, I think um, being scared is a natural emotion and a natural reaction that we often feel when we experience something that's scary for the first time. Um, I think that um, the kids, though, handled it very well and did what they were supposed to do by getting um, in the locker room and getting quiet, and that helped me to help them. So um, it was scary, but we definitely had a really good class to work with. So Was this like a really like hard ex like experience like to like see this? For the first time or? Yeah, it was it was definitely a new experience, but it's something that teachers are trained in on how to handle these situations. Um, it's something that you hope will never happen, and something you hope that um, will um, you know just never be a part of your school experience. But the more that students practice, and the more they take it seriously and understand what their responsibility is in those situations which is to remain quiet, um, to remain calm, then things will go over much more smoothly. Um, what would you rate your students when the lockdown was happening? Um, well, I, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give them an 8, because we can always um, have room for growth. Um, one of the things that um, my students did naturally was to run, um, and that's something you, know, you can't always know how you're going to react in a situation like that. But you want to remain calm, think about what it is that you've practiced. Um, they did a very good job of staying quiet. I think in many classes, um, when you're sitting there that long, we want to start talking to one another. Um, you know, you get antsy and you wonder what's going on. Um, so those kind of things um, we could work on with just staying quiet. And I think that that's overall in the school. But my class did a fantastic job of doing what they were supposed to do. Thank you, Ms. Mangrum. That's welcome. it for me and Ms. Mangrum. See you next time on Fort Logan Northgate News. Thank you, Jamie, for those interviews about the students, who, how they were feeling throughout that ter terrible day. Yes. Something new this quarter is the annual Spirit Week being held by FLM leadership students. So far, my favorite day has been Disney Day, where I came as Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I really enjoyed seeing everyone's unique and creative costumes. So let's go to Danny, who will be reporting some of the participants so far this week. Thanks, Alizé and Mari. Spirit Week got off to a great start with Twin Day. Here you can see lots of cute commanders dressing up for Mirror Monday. Unfortunately, on Tuesday we had a snow day, so Super Hero vs. Disney Day was canceled. But Western Wednesday and Rainbow Thursday were still fun for all. Back to you. Thank you, Danny, for showcasing all the interesting ideas some of the commanders had this year. Another thing happening towards the end of the first semester is the final debate between La Hawk and Mr. Del Rocco's class on if the United States should allow Syrian refugees despite the risk of national security. Let's go to our reporter Esmeralda who was there and filmed some debaters preparing for the final debate and interviewing some of the debaters. Thanks, Alze and Mari. Students are preparing for the great debate this Wednesday. Mr. Lamont and Mrs. Huck's class are for the proposition team, arguing that the U.S. should welcome Syrian refugees despite national security issues. The opposition team from Mr. Dalbraco's class will be arguing the risks are too great to be letting in refugees. Make sure to come to the debate Wednesday at 4 p.m. at the high school in the auditorium. Now back to you, Alza Amari. Thank you, Esmeralda, for the footage that we wish the best luck for both rivals and may the best team win. I agree. But let's not forget about our amazing boys basketball team that hosted their first playoff game last week. Let's go to Patty, who has some of the videos from that game. Thanks, Alizé and Mary. Boys basketball had its best season in years. 
As you can see here, the A-team dominated their home playoff game against Bennett. Elijah Jones led the team in scoring and stole this year's and great team defense. The Commanders made us proud. Unfortunately, they lost on Saturday in the final four to finish third. B-team also finished strong with a playoff win, and C-team has has some of the best sixth grade players we'd had. Back to you, Alize and Mari. Thank you, Patty, for the report. Hopefully, girls will have a great season when they come back from this break. Well, that's all for the episode. Thank you, Commanders. Remember, at Fort Loco Northgate, we teach it, learn it, and, and demonstrate, demonstrate it. it.